Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to make the fascinator you saw on my thumbnail. I'll be needing the felt hat for it, a pair of scissors. I'll also be needing this um, tube crinoline. Yeah, it has a, an opening there as you can see. Yeah, so I'll be using that. I'll be fixing in the boning. That is the boning. I'll be fixing it right inside that crinoline to use. I need my needle and thread because remember, I do not want to use glue for this work. Alice band and then um, thread, some more thread in case I need. Then these are just fruits just to embellish it and flowers also to embellish the work just to make it beautiful. So the first step is to um, make the tip of that boning a bit easy so that we can use. Can you see the way I have cut that? Yes, I will just repeat that same process for the other end so that you see how I did it. I'll just use my scissors to cut the mouth to make it sharp. The reason I'm doing this is so that it will be easy for me to pass it through the boning, through the, um, sorry, the crinoline. The tube crinoline that's why i'm doing this so yeah there you go it's just as you know the other side now now i'll pass this into that hole like that just keep you know pushing it in like that like so i'll push this through all the way down guys i'll push it all the way down just keep pushing it like that sometimes it can get stuck at some point but just keep pushing it so guys i figured out another method to make this easy because i discovered i was struggling to pass it across so look closely what i'm doing i fold that crinoline like that I hold the bone in which is right inside tightly. Then I move I move the crinoline the other way. Can you see it? Just watch that process. You will see that I will soon get to the end. This method I'm doing now is far easier than just trying to push, push, push all the way down, guys. I just discovered that method. It just made the work easier. Yeah, here we go. Ten and nine. <laughs> So that is it. That edge now, I will use my thread and tie it up. Usually, I, I needed the assistance of someone, you know, to plate hold that for me. Then I tied the edge of that crinoline. So after I'm done tying the edge, I would drag the crinoline over the boning like that. Yeah, I would drag it so that it will be flat to give me this flattened appearance. I drag from that edge and uh -huh, look how I'm doing that. Just like that. I'll drag it all the way down to the end of the um, other end of the boning. I drag it, I keep dragging. You can see it's not flattened. It's not so tube like yeah. So I just keep dragging, dragging all the way down. You can see the SS crinoline there. Yes, so what I'll do now is just to use the remaining part of the thread that I used to tie the other end. I'll cut it, then I'll use it to tie this other end, just like you can see me do in this video. So I tie that piece firmly, as firmly as I can. Yeah, tight. I make make the knot very tight so that it doesn't loosen out. So when I'm done um, tying both ends, it's time to make that um, circular design you saw. So I do that. Just watch what I'm doing closely. Just watch how I go around it. I try to make the cycles even as much as possible. Like the space between the cycles even. One bigger than the other like that in that stepwise fashion. Just watch closely what, I, what I'm doing. I'm 
done arranging i'll just pick up my thread and tie that end i knot that end very firmly so that it doesn't um scatter or something like that you know i go around it over and over and over then i tie it very tight i tie i tied that up to three or four times just to make it very firm So the next step is to take it onto the um, felt hat like that then i will sew that down at the base that place i'm holding i will sew it down then when i'm done sewing that i will bring the flowers and also sew at that point to cover that rough portion of the um, crinoline and boning so i'm sewing this now to the base with my needle and thread as you can see i just sew that up together like that I repeat the same process too when I bring the flowers. Make sure that you sew it to be very firm, very, very firm. Since you're not going to use glue, ensure that it is very firm, very, very firm to the base. So I bring the flowers, I do the same thing. I, I sewed each flower differently, like I pass the needle to each flower. In, you know differently so that it will sit very well then for this fruit you can either tie both ends and you know sew it into it like that or maybe here at this point you might want to use gum but I use needle and thread after that I use my Alice band I went to the base like that then I sewed across the Alice band onto the hat yeah as you can see me do so if you are still watching to this point and you are here to subscribe to my channel please 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 support my channel support me to grow click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and um, let's be friends so this is the final outcome thank you for watching